Hey kids. Um, yes, that little red button is recording, isn't it? So it's Miss Joy here again, and I'm so glad to be able to come and uh, talk to you a little bit again today. I know Miss Gloria's been talking to you, and I hope your week is going really well. Um, next week is Thanksgiving, and the week after that is Advent. So that's kind of cool, all sort of stuff going on. And um, I just can't wait to see you again in person, but I'm hoping that these times that we have together to talk on the computer um, will be good for all of us. I'm thinking of all of you. And um, so today we are talking about Jesus transfiguration. That's a huge word. Um, and it means becoming even more beautiful, a changing of, um, of the way maybe we look or maybe the way we feel inside. But that word is transfiguration. Um, let's say it together, say it with me and we'll get it into our heads. Transfiguration. Okay, and there are two things that I'd like to be sure that we remember about our talk today, and so I have my notes again. The first thing I wanna talk about is another word, not quite so big, but community. You say that with me, community. Some of you probably know what that means, and um, we're all, members of a community, probably more than one community. Um, but the community I'm thinking about is here our church family, or maybe I should say all around out there our church family since in order to be healthy we can't get together here in the sanctuary. But we still have a community and we think about each other and we pray for each other and we miss each other and we send each other virtual hugs. And that's one community. Redmond is another community. Your school is a community. Maybe your neighborhood is a community. Um, does that sound like community? Does that sound like another word maybe you've heard in church? Might think about that. Come something how it makes me think of the word communion communion that's when we come up here to the altar and we take bread and wine or we get a special blessing and Jesus started this special time communion during the last dinner he had with his friends he had a special blessing that he said over the bread and the wine or the juice and he told his friends to remember him every time they had this kind of a meal he prayed to God that his friends would all be together in community forever and we're his friends right so we're all together in community we might look different, we might act different, we might be old or young or big or small. Um, we might think differently about some things. We might watch different TV channels, but we're all community. And churches are, all churches are God's community, right? And churches might look a little bit different and maybe they say words a little differently, but we're all a community in God and in Jesus. So there's some good news. So that's one thing I'd really like to ask you guys to remember today, community, community. We're all part of a community. So we talked about that. Now let's talk about the head of our community, Jesus, right? We, we spoke about that just a minute ago. The Bible tells us that Jesus and some of his friends went mountain climbing. You guys can relate to that, right? We've got mountains all over the place here. Probably, probably they, maybe they went in the hotter weather. It's a pretty hot probably where, where Jesus 
lived at the time. But, um, but I bet you've gone on hikes and you've wondered about climbing mountains. Maybe you have. Pastor Eric is a big climber of mountains. He climbed a really tall mountain, huge mountain. So Jesus and his friends just went on a little day trip up a mountain. And when they got to the top, something amazing happened. And we're gonna look at our Bibles now about that. And if you want to, if you're looking at a Spark Bible, it's on page 358, 358. And it has that big whoop-de-doo word, it has transfiguration, the transfiguration. And if you don't have a Spark Bible, but if you're looking at another Bible, it's Matthew in the New Testament, and it's in chapter 17, and it says this, Peter, James, and John were very excited. They were climbing a mountain with Jesus. Higher and higher they climbed, right to the top. Then they noticed something different about Jesus. I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna stick it up here. Do you kind of see? There's over here by my pinky finger, there's Peter, James, and John. And what are they doing? They're squinting. And over here, boy, something's bright, wow. So they saw something amazing. Now, they didn't have sunglasses back then. So they had to squint and put their eyes over, their hands over their eyes. Jesus' face and clothes were bright and shiny like the sun. Have you guys looked at the sun sometimes? And probably your parents said, stop looking at that so long, you're gonna hurt your eyes. And you could, you could. You could. So don't, you know, we can glance up at the sun, but we don't look at it for a long time. Jesus was brighter than the sun. Can you believe? Wow. Um, so when they looked, they saw Moses, the guy who got the Ten Commandments, and the prophet Elijah were standing with Jesus. A prophet is somebody who tells things that are going to happen. So they were standing with Jesus talking about God's promise to save the world. How would you have felt if you were there? You got your, you can't hardly see anything because Jesus is shining so bright. And here's Moses, the guy with the Ten Commandments. And here's Elijah, the prophet. Now, these people had lived hundreds of years before, so that was special too, right? And they're just shining like crazy. So, but the big thing is they're talking about God's promise to save the world. Peter couldn't believe his eyes. Suddenly a cloud covered the mountain. A voice said, this is my son. Listen to him. The voice was God. Peter, James, and John covered their faces. Then Jesus touched them. They peeked up. Everything was the same as it was before, even Jesus. So for these few moments when God was talking and when Jesus was there with Moses and Elijah, he was shining like the sun, shining, shining, shining. And then he went back to the way he was before so he could stay and do more work. On the way down the mountain, Jesus, Peter, James, and John talked about God's promise but they didn't tell anyone else what happened on the mountain for a long time. They were waiting for God's time to tell, okay? Now, some cool stuff about that. I was saying that Jesus was shining brighter than the sun, right? And how do we spell Sun, we spell sun, S-U-N, when it's the sun in the sky, right? Right? But when we're talking about Jesus, the Son of God, 
We spell it differently, S-O-N. And there's a sheet, this sheet is gonna be in your, in your packet that you get in the mail. Uh, and you can color it if you like, or put sparklies on it, or whatever you think. But here's a picture of Jesus and the cloud, and Moses here with the, with the Ten Commandments, and Elijah over here, and Peter, James, and John. And here's even a little bird that has a communion wafer. Sometimes we think of the Holy Spirit as a bird. So I really like that picture because it tells so much. I hope you like it too. So I'm looking back in my, in my notes. And the second thing I want to remember to ask you guys to remember, the first one is we are in a community and that community is led by Jesus. And the second is that big voice coming out of the cloud saying, this is my son. Some of the versions say, with him I am well pleased, says God. Listen to him, listen to him. So how do we listen to Jesus? Well, Jesus is in the Bible. We have been sharing all kinds of stories that Jesus told or stories about Jesus and um, the Bible is the place where we can learn so 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 much about Jesus and how much he loves us the many things he did to help people and all of the gifts he gives us and how hard he worked for us and even suffered for us and that he even could have gone back to heaven and, stay, and stayed there, but then came back down, or I don't know where heaven is really, I think of heaven as up, but heaven could be anywhere. But, um, but Jesus came back from heaven for a little while, back to his friends to assure them, to tell them, to promise them that they wouldn't ever be without him. And we're not ever out without him either, we might not see him in his body with our eyes, but we can see with our hearts, and we can hear with our ears, and we can know that God is telling us, listen to him, so, so keep your heart open and your ears open and your eyes open when you're reading the Bible, and listen to Jesus. In our community, we want to listen to Jesus, okay? So, there's a prayer that I'd like us to say together, and the prayer is part of the words to the song we're gonna share with you um, today. So let's take a deep breath, and let's think about talking with Jesus, and I'll say the words and maybe you'll repeat after me, okay? Here we go. Shine, Jesus, shine. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze. Blaze like a fire. Blaze, Spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Set our as we gaze on your kingly brightness, as we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness. That's a long one. So our faces display or show your likeness. Ever-changing transfiguration, ever-changing from glory to glory. Written here, may our lives tell the story. Written here, may our lives tell the story. Shine on me. Shine on me. Amen. 
Thanks, you guys, for spending some time with me today. Love you all. I'm so sorry we can't be together, but boy, I'm glad we've got ways to communicate anyhow. And um, I hope you have a great, great rest of the week, great Thanksgiving week. And I hope that you remember and you give thanks for community and for our leader and the one we listen to, Jesus Christ. Okay, so until we talk next time, keep on shining.